Hi everybody, it's Susan from Sunrise Quilt Studio and today we're working on the fourth bonus block in the Christmas Basket series. This one is another applique block and here is the block. Um, this one is made with actually four different fabrics. There's two different greens. The stem is a different fabric than the leaves. Um, there's two different reds, a cream, and a Two different blues so there's a lot of different fabrics in here but the colors you know the green colors are the same and the blues are the same so um, you know mix and match your fabrics any way you like to make this block and I hope you'll stay with me and I'll show you how to put this block together okay I have the layout for the fourth applique block laid out on my mat this is my wool pressing mat and I have two sheets of cardstock laying down here it's just white and what that's going to do is help all of the um, design show up through my fabric so that I can see what is going on there um, can see the design through the fabric clearly now first thing I want to do is take my fabric and I need to fold it into fourth so that I can find the center and I'm going to go ahead and pin this down so it won't move while I'm working here. And I have the the uh, cardstock pinned down, and that will help keep that in place too. So I'm just sticking the needles through the paper and the cardstock and into the the mat. So this helps a lot. Now you can do use a light box. The thing is, you can't press with an iron onto your light box so that causes um, a problem there so I'm going to fold this in half and you can press this with an iron or you can finger press it you basically need to be able to see the quarter marks and um, I'm just going to go ahead and do the other side here and then I want to do diagonal to diagonal and if you like using um, pins that disappear with air or water or heat you know go ahead and do that um, I don't like to do that myself is on uh, my applique pieces um, because I'm be adding heat so your water soluble and air soluble pins it's a it's possible that that heat will set that pin into your fabric so I can see this through here fairly well here is the block that I did with the other fabric so what's on the very bottom of all these designs is the stems so I'm going to put the stems in first and then build up from there so the you can see what lays on top of the other so I've got these little buds are on top of the stems um, this big flower is on top of the stem and then these two pieces are on top of the big flower so you're just going to build up from the bottom up so think about it that way and so but the stems are going to go down first and you can trim them down see these pieces I've trimmed are pretty long and um, they're longer than I need so I'm going to go ahead and trim a little bit off it's only about I don't know three quarters of an inch too long so it's not too bad and this is the Stema Seam 2 that I've used and so it's uh, repositionable so I'm going to take the paper off the back and lay that right along that line making sure some of it's going to go underneath both this piece and that piece and then just press it down and I'm just going to do the same with all four stems now the other fusible that I like is Easy Steam 2 and uh, it works the same way it's just a different 
made by different companies. So Now if I had a solid white fabric it would be easier to see the design underneath but uh, I'm doing a cream on cream so it's a little more difficult. Okay, there's the first part done. And we'll move on to the next layer. So next thing is going to be these flower buds. So I'm going to do the same thing, just peel off the paper. And position them and press them down. Now I'm lining up the point with the crease that I made in the fabric. And then the base, I can see the line right there. So that way I know I've got everything in place. Now the block is going to finish at 10 and a half, so I've cut the fabric at 11 and a half. So I've got plenty of room here to work. Got plenty of room out here to trim, so that is helpful. Time to look everything over and decide if you want to make any changes before you do the final fusing on it. So um, I'm just going to look it over real quick and see if there's anything I want to change and I'm pretty happy with that. 
So I'm going to heat up my iron and fuse this down and then we'll take a look at it. Okay, so now I'm ready to fuse. So I've got my piece of muslin that I've been using and I'm going to cover cover the block and then I've got my iron and I have it on cotton and I have the steam on. So I'm just going to press according to the manufacturer's directions and um, get this all fused down. Now the length of time that you hold it in each place, you know, follow the directions because each um, brand is going to be different. The thing is if you hold it too long, the, the glue kind of soaks into the fabric and uh, the fabric is going to be stiff. If you don't hold it down close long enough, then the glue may not hold or when you're doing your applique around it, your applique stitch, it may gum up, gum up your needle. So um, it just kind of takes a little experience to determine how long you need to hold it. Okay, so here we go. I think that'll work for now anyway. And there is the fused block. And um, so all of this is the last applique block in the series. And next thing I'll have to do is do all the decorative stitching around the applique blocks and then everything will be ready to put into the quilt. So now I've got 13 piece blocks and four applique blocks and I can decide what I want to put in the quilt if I want to put any applique blocks in it or if I want to save them for um, maybe make a table runner out of them. So uh, that's also an option. So anyway, that is it for this video and I hope you enjoyed it. Well that is it for our applique block number four. I think it turned out really well and I hope you'll give this one a try and I think you'll enjoy it. So uh, if you like this video please click that like button. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already and click that notification bell so you'll be notified when the next video comes up. Um, share this video with your quilting friends and in the meantime I hope you're all staying safe and healthy and I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching. For more quilting ideas, click on the video links. And to keep up with my latest projects, click on the subscribe button. I hope to see you again soon.